Come and join us for today's Explore where we go in search of the remains of an old pillbox bunker what's hidden away in the woodlands on top of the ruins of an old abandoned fortress. This particular bunker is surrounded by deep rivers and packed full of wildlife. We stumble across some huge abandoned gun turrets along with some old ammunition storage ports and then there it was in the distance, the pillbox bunker. Now let's get into today's adventure. What's up guys, I'm Crystal. And I'm Leg. And today we're going out exploring, but first we've got to get Pat. Let's go get him. Right guys, so we just pulled up to meet Pat. He's just getting his stuff, getting out of the car and coming in now. All right, buddy. Good. Yeah, mate, Wait, not I bad. For this, man. Yeah. Where are we even going? Well. Good, mate, yeah. We're recording. Do you want to say hello to the viewers? What's happening? Let's do this, man. As we make our way to today's Bunker Explore, we are asked a question by Crystal Marie. Why is a bunker called a pillbox bunker? They were popularly known as pillboxes, and that was due to a reference of their shape. They're not that far now, are we, surely? Um, it's just up here, isn't it? It's not too far down this road, I don't think. And I forgot to get petrol for shit. What? I'm supposed to stop and get petrol off the bar. Bloody hard climb though, wasn't it, Pat? Yeah. Not to be underestimated, that chalk cliff over there. So we just come to this this river, guys. Look, you can see all the ducks are slowly coming over. And the more hens, more hens, not more rons. More rons. Is that a koala in the bush? Nope. Okay, let's press on then. Oh my god. Oh wait, Dad, I think I found something. What we got? What have you found? What is it? Is it a bunker or is it a gun port? That is a gun port. Let's go have a look. Oh my god, look at that drawing, that's actually well good. Graffiti. Yeah. Look at this, guys. Look on the floor, there's like a swell. Yeah, you know what that's for? What? So as you can see, guys, we've just come out to this large gun turret that was built in the side of the hill here. And on it, you can see lots of graffiti. Now, this would have been used many years ago. There would have been a large gun here and just as Crystal pointed out, in the centre, can you see the large pins? See the large pins sticking out of the leaves? Look at the leaves. Can you see the large metal pins? Yeah? They're screws, and they would have screwed a gun onto that. And this here, can you see this rail? The metal rails. Those metal rails are called cannon rails. And that's so the gun would have been able to swivel point out that way and swivel around but this would have protected it so it can't be shot from the back yes. and can you see the hoops yeah. the hoops would have had chains on chaining the gun in so when it's shooting it doesn't jump off the rails so this probably would have been used many years ago for some sort of ammunition storage and they would have probably stored ammo in here These British hardened field defences of World War II were small fortified structures constructed as part of the British anti-invasion preparations. Anti-ricochet wall. Now, this would have been so no one could shoot up from that side into this pillbox bunker, so it sort of covers the door. And um, the door's been completely blown off, 
and it's on the floor. Now let's get inside and see what we find in this pillbox bunker. So, as you can see here, we've got an old tin roof on this one. So as you can see guys, just here we've got an old tin roof with all the flies in it. And as we make our way round, you'll notice each section of this pillbox has been split into quarters. So if we pan around and go just underneath, there's, there's nests of loads of flies. Yeah, and there's there. condoms and everything in here all over the floor, loads of them. So don't yeah. touch anything, all right? No. We will come in here and shack. Huh? Probably Pat, what he was doing in here. Huh. Look at this, guys. Keep your mouth closed, Crystal, because all the flies. As you can see, and in each one of these little separated sections with this anti-ricochet wall in the middle, you've got these little holes which would point out and overlook the area where they would have shot out from. Which is pretty cool, isn't it, guys? Now let's press on and get out of here because all the flies And there he is in the bushes. Mate, really small. Yeah. Split into four. Um, flies everywhere. Oh really? If you're going in there, be careful. There's Johnny's everywhere, mate. You've been to? There's Johnny's everywhere. Like someone goes in there and says, welcome to the sex room. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay, I'll be back. Welcome to the sex dungeon. It wasn't you in there, Pat, before us, was it? I'm having, having a posh one in there. Bruh.